Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us on today's video. Today, we would like to review the US ISM manufacturing PMI. The US ISM PMI manufacturing data allows investors to gauge the strength within the manufacturing sector of the US economy. Now, this index is what we call a diffusion index. And all that really means is any reading above 50 signals expansion and any reading below 50 signals contraction. So what we have saw with the latest release is that data come in below 50. So once again, that signals contraction within the US manufacturing sector. So this is no different to previous month's data. This index has actually been producing sub-50 scores since October 22. And all that really reflects is the shift in consumer demand that we've saw from the US. If we think back to the COVID-19 pandemic where uh, economies were shut down, consumers shifted their demands towards purchasing goods, so buying new laptops, new TVs, things like that. And since we have saw the economy reopen, and those service sectors come back uh, open, we have saw consumers shift demand appropriately. So we're starting to see that demand move into things like restaurants, leisure and holiday, etc. So we've continued to see that weakness come through and it's really just those shifts in preferences that, um, that we've highlighted. The three main sub-indexes within the US ISM manufacturing that we would like to highlight upon are one, new orders, so once again, they are below 50, so we're starting to see those, they, they continue to contract, which once again is just reflecting of that shift in demand from consumers. The second would be prices paid, which will be particularly important to the US Federal Reserve, so we're actually starting to see the prices paid come down, so those inflationary pressures um, that we have saw with over the years are starting to come down. And the third that will also be important to the Fed is employment. Now, employment had shown two previous months of uh, above 50 results, signaling expansion, but those have actually dipped back below uh, that 50 mark. So starting to signal contraction. And what we're starting to see um, respondents comment upon is that they're actually pausing on hiring intentions. So starting to see um, changes within the labour market, which will be something that the Federal Reserve sees as a positive as it should help stem some of the wage inflation that we have saw um, since 2021. Thank you for watching today's video and we'll catch you tomorrow.